Hi there. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Thursday. It is October the 16th. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Chrissy Van in for Tom Reynolds. You know, Emily, I joined you guys earlier in the week, had the chance to take advantage of that high humid X. Yeah. And slowly we're saying goodbye to those types of temperatures. Unfortunately, at this time of the day, it keeps getting cooler and cooler. But today, fog is certainly a big story for us. We're seeing fog patches through Toronto at 15 degrees, 12 through Hamilton with quite a bit of fog. We're out and about and you're thinking, OK, you know, it's not raining right now. Maybe I can walk the dog, which is what I did. But then, of course, it started to rain, so I started to run. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days again. It's always the way. You know, whenever you finally decide to make mm -hmm. a move, that's when the rain happens. That's yeah. when the gust of wind happened for me, too. I heard the garbage man go by. Oh, yeah. And then my garbage can, of course, was going Gone. traversing down the street. I was like, seriously? And it wasn't even a windy day. Hi there. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Thursday. It is the 16th of October. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Chrissy Van in for Tom Reynolds. I'll be joining you today and tomorrow. Well, he gets a little R&R. &R. Yeah, he's recovering from too much turkey. I guarantee <laughs> that. Uh, it is a foggy start to the day. We do have a fog advisory in place through much of southern Ontario. The city of the week. And you know what I find when you get into the season? First of all, it's hard to dress because mm -hmm. the morning temperatures always vary so much from the afternoon. And now to add to that, we have have sunshine and rain. No, I know. How do you even know what to wear? You have to bring it all. <laughs> yes. You just do. All right, well, yesterday wasn't a bad day. A lot of boats are still in the water. Here's a look at the fog in Waterloo, and I'm going to turn things over to Chrissy. She's got more details on your traffic. Thanks so much for that, Emily. And as we say, be really cautious on the roads, because if you do encounter that fog, visibility quite poor. Look on how your drive shaping up along the Gardner and the DVP. Thanks so much for that look around the globe there in Force of Nature, Emily. Thanks for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van. In for Tom Reynolds. Coming up, we'll have Emily Vukovic with your full forecast details. But first, a look at your drive. And as you can see on the Beat the Traffic map, plenty of green zones. So if you're traveling outside of the city, just be cautious as we do have reports of fog patches. And for more details on that, over to you, Emily. Yeah, Kevin is on the hunt for the soupy mix. Thanks so much, Kevin. It is going to be foggy, but that's what you get when you get this humid kind of mixed precip not mixed precip but precip and then a little bit of fog and then it's just that been that week and it know? is sometimes hard when it's like this to plan your travel times because i find on those patchy foggy days you're rolling along and then all of a sudden the vehicle in front of you has disappeared. So you yeah. really have to allow extra time and be careful of heading out there. Fog advisory in place. We've got unsettled conditions today into tomorrow and Saturday. I'm going to have all your weekend details coming up in just a moment. But first, here's Chrissy with traffic. Thanks so much, Emily. And even though it's early, we've still started the day with quite a few problem spots. The good news is, as you look at the Beat the Traffic map, you can see still plenty of green zones as well as the QEW. But first, with all the forecast details, Emily. Thanks so much for that, Emily. With your force of nature, taking a look around the globe there. Now we take a look at the roads where, of course, you do need to be cautious. There are fog advisories in effect. And in fact, that's actually what Kevin Yard is on the mission to find. But throughout Oakville and Mississauga. But as for how the drive is shaping up in regards to the fog, I'll send it out to you, Kevin. Thanks so much for that, Emily. And looking at the drive, for the most part, a lot of green zones on the Beat the Traffic map. So if you don't have any problems to report, which is great news. Coming up, we'll join Kevin Yard as he's taking a look at the fog. Thanks so much, Kevin. Always nice for the morning commute to have a couple weather factors complicating it. Luckily, though, it hasn't impacted the drive too much. You certainly want to be careful. I'll have more details on that coming up. But first, with the forecast details, over to you, Emily. All right. Thanks so much, Kevin. Yeah, you really need to give yourself some extra travel time because like you were mentioning earlier, you could see fog and then be clear and then see fog and then be clear. Absolutely. It definitely makes a difference on the drive. But the thing I found most striking about what Kevin said there, rising at 734. How is it that time of year already? I've been noticing it more and more at night. I mean, I know it's coming and you and I just saw our first Christmas commercial. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> I know. But Christy turns around and said, it's with what? Was that just Christmas? <laughs> it was Christmas. I, at first I accepted it, and yeah. then I realized what I was yeah. hearing, and I was like, oh no, let's yeah. at least get through Halloween first. Not even <laughs> Halloween yet. Fog advisory in place throughout Southern Ontario. I'm going to turn things over to Chrissy. She has an update on that commute. Thanks so much, Emily. And looking at the drive, funny enough, most of our problem spots have been areas that I have not been seeing the fog on the Gardner and the DVP. And I'll also have details on that QEW, QEW drive, Emily. 
Thanks so much, Emily. A look around the globe in force of nature. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Tom Reynolds. Coming up in the show, we'll be joined by Kevin Yard. He's on the hunt for that fog. But looking at your drive, we are seeing actually some tweets coming out of the east end, Emily, just due to the earlier problem spots there. Yeah, it's certainly going to be tricky. Now, where are you seeing it the worst on your traffic cameras? Uh, well, a lot of the dense fog is out of our camera range, but I was seeing some tweets as well as on the cameras through Appleby and Walker's line along the QEW. And it's really one of those situations where as I scroll through, one camera has it, the next doesn't. Right. So very patchy. All right, well, we still do have that fog advisory in place today. We do have that rain that Kevin was mentioning, but it's not incredibly significant amounts. It's going to be on and off throughout the day today. Will it last into the weekend? I've got those details just ahead, but first, here's Chrissy. Oh, a cliffhanger, Emily, for those of us planning our weekend. But as for planning the drive, I do have those details for you. And luckily, and if you are outside the GTA, just be really cautious as we've been mentioning some fog patches. Now for the weekend forecast, over to you, Emily. Thanks so much, Kevin. And actually, I was just reading a tweet from the OPP saying you can't change the weather, but you can change how you drive in it. And definitely something to keep top of mind with the rain into the downtown core. But of course, that's to be expected. Coming up, we'll have Emily Vukovic with your full weekend forecast details. And we'll check back in with Kevin Yard. Thanks so much for that, Emily. Coming up in the show as well, we'll be joined by Kevin Yard, who will be talking the fog as he's been on the mission to find it. But as for within the GTA, to clear of that. Just Thanks so much for that, Kevin. And exactly that, even as I've been watching on the traffic cameras, you need to give yourself extra time because it's one of those situations where the drive looks good one moment in a section and the next it's fog filled and delay. So coming up, I'll have details on that. But first with the weekend forecast over to you. All right. Thanks so much, Kevin. There's nothing worse than having a weather delay for your flight taking off, especially if you're going somewhere like hot, sunny, tropical, something like that. Yes. I'm always like, just get me there. Mm -hmm. If something happens on the way back and I'm it's coming okay. back to a cold yeah, yeah. place, that's yeah, yeah. fine. But it's the okay. way there, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get there fast. So hopefully this fog will lift. We still do have a fog advisory in place. That's where you can see some dense fog patches as Kevin was just showing us very soupy through Waterloo. We'll talk about your weekend forecast. We'll let you know about our temperatures as well. But first, here's Chrissy with Traffic. Thanks so much, Emily. And I've really been keeping an eye on the traffic cameras in regards to the fog. And the one thing that I can tell you, quite patchy, and it really is in this kind of ebb and flow. So give yourself extra time. Drive conditions along the DVP as well as the Gardner. Thanks so much, Emily. That was a look at the active weather around the globe and force of nature. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van. In for Tom Reynolds. Coming up in the show, we'll join Kevin Yard, who's been hunting down the fog as well. Emily Vukovic will have full forecast details. But first, a look at fresh problems on the drive. I am seeing some very heavy fog, Emily, and I know we have some fog advisories as well. All right. Thanks so much, Kevin. Yeah, I would advise to call ahead your airline. Make sure everything's on time through at Southern Ontario. Yeah, especially I've seen the landscape of this fog changing throughout the morning. Actually, right now over the Burlington Skyway, it's quite dense, whereas mm -hmm. maybe 30 minutes ago, it really didn't look so bad. Yeah, so we still do have that fog advisory in place throughout Southern Ontario studios. As you can see on our outdoor camera, it's not incredibly dense, but it's still there. So give yourself extra travel time. Speaking of traveling, here's Chrissy with traffic. Thanks so much, Emily. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean coming over the Skyway. But luckily, no problem spots on that route. Thanks so much, Kevin. And a good point as well. If you are flying this morning, you may want to check ahead should there be any delays. Looking at the drive itself, well, yes, we've continued to see that fog building in. Now, coming up, we'll take a look at the full stretch of the 401 as well. Emily Vukovic will have full weekend forecast details. And we'll check back in with Kevin Yard in the fog. Thanks so much, Emily. And the big story of the day has been the fog. Coming up later in the show, we'll check back again with Kevin Yard. He's been tracking the fog through Kitchener and Waterloo. Well, Kevin, I've definitely seen the fog building in on many of the major routes as the morning progresses. And we've seen a couple of problem spots as well. About as well, Emily, I'll have coverage along the Gardner and DVP. You're right, Kevin. I didn't know that. I don't think I would even look up the airport in Waterloo to travel to those destinations. See, I have a couple friends that moved out that way, so that's the only reason why oh, I know. Okay. But the one thing I found funny about that was Kevin saying, not much to see here, and he's in this bright <laughs> yellow and orange vest. Can't miss that. Except for you, Kevin. <laughs> You're the only thing to see at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's talking about the dense fog. As you can see, it's pretty foggy outside our Oakville studios, and we do have a fog advisory in place. What do our weekend temperatures and conditions look like? I'm going to have those details just ahead, but first, here's Chrissy with traffic.
Thanks so much, Emily. And of course, the fog, a big theme for the drive today. Do allow yourself a bit of extra time because it's been really patchy. So starting to see the improvements out on the roads there, Emily. Thanks so much for that, Emily. A look around the globe there in your force of nature. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Tom Reynolds. Coming up, we'll be joined by Emily Vukovic with your full weekend forecast details. But one thing you may have noticed looking at the window, some dense fog patches in the area. And there, this is your last look at live traffic, though. You can take along the Beat the Traffic app that's available on your iPhone as well at the Google Play Store. So be sure to take that along for the ride, and that will help navigate you through the slowdowns. Now, here's Emily with the long range. Thanks, Chrissy. Well, it is still fairly foggy throughout the region. We do have a fog advisory in place for many areas throughout southern Ontario. 